Hey, welcome back to Sessions. I'm here in Haugastol in freezing Norway. I came out here with my good friend Tuva Janssen and Remy, who's our new snow kite team rider for Cabrina. It was really nice to come out a little bit early and just get to do a little bit of free riding with the guys. I'm Remy, coming from Norway. I've been snow cutting for about eight years now. I'm Tiva Jansen, I'm from Norway, so this is my home. We are here doing the Red Bull Ragnarok of Pat Hagasto. Ragnarok is actually the tale of an epic battle from Norwegian mythology between the good and evil gods that went out on the massive snow plateau and just had it out for a very, very long time. A very few select heroes survived. That's what this event is about. A lot of people showing up and the really hardcore ones making it. The Red Bull Ragnarok is a snow kite endurance race where people have to complete five laps of 14K. And even though that doesn't sound like so much, out here on the snow plateau where it's just gnarly, crazy, rocky, windy, that's actually a very, very difficult thing. It was hard. <laughs> Ragnarok is something special, that's for sure. Wind from everywhere, changing kites. Yeah, it has been really, really hard because the wind has been coming up and down all the time. So we have to walk sometimes and then we got a lot of wind at the end here. Kiting in the snow is such a different ball game than when you're in the water because it feels like even though it's the same sport, everything about it is different. From rigging up your kite, from having to put on all these clothes, to actually flying your kite and gliding along on a solid surface, it's just all completely different. When you're in the snow, you get a lot of random stuff. Suddenly, you know, you'll get a white out and you won't even see where you've left your kite bag. It's definitely a lot harder to take off on freestyle because you don't have that edge that you get in the water. So you kind of have to pop up straight rather than letting your kite pull you against your edge and then releasing it to get a pop. Snow kiting for me is very different to kiting on the water, but it's also very fun because it's something totally different and you feel like a beginner again almost and you need to learn new stuff, so I think it's very fun. Some people think it's harder on snow, especially crashes and stuff, but I reckon actually I smash harder on water. I think it depends a lot on how the snow conditions are, like you can get some hard packed powder and it's almost the same as riding in water. But of course this icy condition is not always the best. 
snow gliding has a huge potential because it appeals to a lot of people like everything from kids who want to do the freestyle thing from skiers and snowboarders who want to use the kite as a ski lift on the mountains and pack the kite on the top and just free ride down you have this expedition guys who is taking the kite from cabin to cabin up here and uses that as a, as a transport tool and you have riders that just want to cruise around in the mountains like it fits to everyone it's easy to learn I think snow kiting has a lot of potential. I'm definitely hooked on it and I would recommend everybody should try it at least once. <laughs>